The great silver crown car is coming out of turn number four. They come down the green flag ways, and that is a big jump right there for Cody Swanson. I mean, Swanson already seven or eight car lengths out in front of the field as he comes out of turn number two. Told me he spent all to Wednesday night after Springfield in the shop. But when he says that, I mean, I have the sense he camped there. Like 20 out of 24 hours. This is what he wants to get for the seventh time. And guess what? He's got his brother right behind him. And nothing to lose for Justin Grant. Everything is about winning this race. No points consideration whatsoever as he tracks in behind Santos. Logan Seavey, points is an issue as we see Bobby make a slick move underneath. That was a perfect raceway park pass. You still see the sparks coming out from the bottom of the frame rail with the heavier fuel load at this point. And here goes Grant. Grant's going to look for I'm, Logan Seavey. I'm Seavey's. a little worried about Seavey. Yeah. He's lost three I spots in one lap. I have a problem. Yep, yeah, he's off the pace coming out of turn number two. Oh, oh my. Heartbreak. So your driver that came in tied for the point lead or three points ahead is off the pace and on pit lane. Looks like Tanner's got a little bit more in his step right now, Brad. We'll see if he's ready to try to put some pressure on his brother. I was just contemplating in my head what a relationship with brother to brother in this scenario. I know that when it comes to the checkered flag, it's just I'm racing you. But at this point, is this a situation where we're going to run each other comfortably here and get to the last 10 laps and then all give it everything we got to see what might happen? It looks to me like Tanner's kind of anxious to take the top spot. He's hounded his brother perhaps more than he has all race long. Now, Cody has let them all at this point. As you said, Pat Tanner, Tanner is just right there. A little bobble, yeah, and right there's there. a bobble. Well, nope, at the line, it's still Cody. Still Cody at the line. Pat, have you had the opportunity personally yourself? As again, we might have a battle for the lead. It's still Cody as we get to the halfway point. That is lap number 50. So if he leads one more, he ha it will be, without a doubt, the driver who leads the most laps. Now, let's see what Tanner does here through three and four, and then I'll go back and ask my question. But it looks like Cody will lead lap number 51, and that'll wrap up three points for the most laps led. When you think of the Silver Crown races, and a lot of times teams come up to this, and they're not used to running 100 lap or 100 mile events. Well, that's not the case with Tyler. He's used to winning 500 lap events, so he has patience. He has an understanding of what it means to have a long, good run. So just looking ahead, he's got a lot of work to do to catch C.J. Lee. Battle for the lead, Pat down the backstretch, and I was holding my breath as I watched that. Oh, we got a yellow on the front stretch. Oh! Oh, oh Jake, get it stopped. Just couldn't get it yeah. between there and the wall. Yeah, tough break for Jack Day. Tanner Swanson will be the first to see the green flag. So we look to wrap things up with 26 laps to go at Lucas Oil Raceway. That's a good start right there for the sixth of C.J. Leary. Yep. C.J. moves into the second spot, and here comes Tyler Roaring. Interesting things now. C.J. Leary at times has been beset with some bad luck in the Silver Crown Series. Can everything come into play for him here tonight in car number six? He is definitely in the hunt for the win. It looks like Cody Swanson. It, it does. Back. It looks like he's struggling. The tires seal over. This race ended right now. That legacy team is going to be awful proud of their work. And there goes Roaring looking to the outside. That's a bold move. That is to go to the outside coming out of oh, turn number two. Oh, enough room up there. What a run for Tyler Rory coming out of turn four. Oh, oh my. Travis Wilpon doesn't know what's going to happen to him here. And Rory gets it done. That was a heck of a battle with Cody Swanson, and he takes that spot away. As the white flag has come out, and I think that'll take care of that second spot. But Pat, a dominating run the second half. He hung right in there at the beginning. The checkered flag will fall yet again for Tanner Swanson as he comes out of turn four. Oh, as he unbuckles, takes a deep breath, he pops up to the top of the car. Ra Raceway Park fans, how about it for Tanner Swanson getting the victory here today? And just a reminder, on at least two occasions, he has elected to take the challenge of going to the back of the field 
on nights where he might, and quite likely the couple cases could have won. So he's just been spectacular here in this series. Thank you so much, Pat. Tanner Swanson going to pick it up here tonight on Championship Saturday, besting his brother Cody, who's on his way over here now to congratulate him, to evil eye him, who knows. But Cody Swanson going to give his big brother a hug. Tanner Swanson going to be victorious on this one. Going to bring home the season closer of the USAC Silver Crown Champ Car Series, a guy who doesn't even race full time to show up and be the class of the field, to withhold late race restarts, to be patient when it counted and to be competitive when it mattered the most. A very deserving win for Tanner Swanson and team. So he'll make his way over here and Tanner so patient behind Cody for so many laps, the perfect situation to get by him there. Did it feel like a chess game? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just a high speed chess match here. Um, you know, you got two cars that good and I didn't have any radio communication for, for the first half of it, and so I really didn't know how many laps were left. So I was kind of pushing him a little bit, trying to see where he was at, where I was at, and thought we were feeling pretty good. And then finally we got somebody to come over on the radio and say 40 to go, and I was like, uh-oh, we've been pushing way too hard. So um, backed it up a little bit and then just got lucky there with some lap cars, and, and once we got clean air, we were, we were able to log some good laps. And as you followed Cody around, there was a lot of lap traffic that we had to work through together. But so many times we saw you make choices that Cody did not make and take different lanes. It was not a follow the leader race. Do you feel like it was bold? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I'd call it bold, but it just being in second through lap traffic is the best place to be, right? Um, you know, I was able to just take, it was an easy decision. Cody had the hard decision and then I just did whatever he didn't do. And so um, got really lucky on, on those two guys that pinned him in and, uh, if that didn't happen, I don't, I don't know how it would have played out. How about capping off this 2022 season with a win? Yeah, you know, it's it's awesome. These Bowman guys uh, are great. Everybody that has helped me all year run um, all these races and get two wins this year for, for a half-ass retired guy is pretty cool. So um, excited for these guys to be back in victory lane. It's It's been quite a while and, uh, you know, just, just an awesome night. Tanner Swanson picks up your win for Championship Saturday at Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park to close out the 2022 season. But before we stop talking about the Swansons, we have a champion in the house. Cody Swanson picks up his seventh career National USAC Spring Silver Crown champion, and it's an emotional one, Cody. So many, seven championships later, how do you keep the passion and the thrill of it alive to just keep going after it year after year? I mean, you just want to win. Tonight, I'm not even the best in my own family, you know, but, um, and my brother Tanner does an amazing job, uh, and he put it on us tonight, and then CJ and Tyler did a great job, too, and um, maybe we just missed it a little bit, but these championships are hard to come by, and I'm thankful to be surrounded by great people that never give up, right? Um, we were here till midnight last night trying to get the thing fixed to make it 100 laps, and, um, and they did, and... Um, we talked earlier about this October racetrack and um, just missed it. It, it uh, fooled me a little bit today, but um, still come home fourth and had a, had a solid finish. And um, to cap it off with a championship uh, is a little bit of a silver lining. And um, just so thankful for uh, all of our partners, you know, Glenn Farms, Henry USA, Rosewood Machine and Tool. There are so many people that are part of this Doran racing team and about part of this uh, year's Doran Dyson uh, racing effort. Um, and I'm really grateful for everybody that's involved that, uh, that pitches in that makes it possible for me to be a part of this. And um, just really grateful. When you look back over this 2022 season and all of the things that have happened in the span of these last several months, this was not a gimme championship. This was a tough one to earn. Talk about some of the highs and lows. Yeah, I mean, um, really, I gave it away. I, I, I gave it away for these guys at Eldora and just made a made an easy mistake that I didn't even think I was in jeopardy to, to be involved in. And, um, you know, from then it was just we had two races to go and it was just time to race it out. And, uh, you know, a pair of fourths um, aren't what you come for in Silver Crown, but um, they were good enough to get the job done. And, and uh, I hated to see that Logan had, had trouble tonight because they, they put a great effort together too. So, I mean, that's, that's part of a championship is trying to, um, you know, get the most out of your, your off nights and, and to celebrate the the high nights and um, so tonight we'll uh, we'll take it as a silver lining and thankful for a great year his seventh national silver crown champ car series championship cody swanson the best to ever do it